I'm reading this letter um, um, on behalf of former students. Um, uh, his name is Christian Driver. I think everybody knows him to be Father Driver. So I'm just going to read it. Um, just bear in mind what we said on the guideline. This, this was, I mean, am I not, am I allowed to say names? I mean, I mean this, I'm reading you, his you, words. You can, if you can get there and you're not, I'll let you know. Okay. I mean, this is from his, his lips to your ears, so I'm just his representative. To whom am I concerned? My name is Christian Driver. I'm from Newport, Arkansas, and I started attending ASMSA in the fall of 2017. My junior year at ASMSA was quite possibly the most fun year in my entire high school career. Following that year, I had nothing but good words to say about the institution, and because of that, I wanted to be more involved in the school and try to make it just that much better for the upcoming juniors. This is the reason I became both a community leader, or CL, and a student government association, SGA member. Coming back for the fall semester of 2018, I had high expectations for the year since it was my, junior, my senior year, but something seemed off very early on into that semester. It all started during orientation for the juniors when the community de developer, am I allowed to say the name? Mm -hmm. I mean, you're not going to know unless you say names. This is, this is about transparency. We need to say names. Okay. Just say it at the end. I don't have any objections. Okay. Because I don't know. I wouldn't know who you're talking about. Because if you're, you're going to redact names, that's not transparency. Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure I'm not. It all started during orientation for the juniors when the community de developer, Ashante, started telling the juniors multiple rules that were not in the handbook. One of the most outrageous rules that, the, that she told was that the students could only hold hands for a duration of three seconds, which is absolutely not in the rule, not a rule in the handbook. Also, we had an event that was called this quote, privilege walk. So during the event, the students were fully out consistently for various things. For example, students who grew up with two parents step forward, students who got a car at 16 step forward, and students who didn't grow up with a father step backward. Being a CL, I'm supposed to help the juniors feel comfortable and reassure them that ASMSA is the place that they should be. Before the quote privilege walk even began, I had multiple juniors come up to me and say that they were not they were not comfortable participating in this event because of how it, it um, how it upset stereotypes in all students before you even get to know the person. Since this event was mandatory for all students, I had to ask them just to go and see how they felt about it afterwards. At the event, the leader of my group was Ashante. Just a few minutes into the event, I was loudly yelled at because I was trying to help a junior understand what we were going to be doing, and apparently we were not supposed to be talking. I felt personally attacked and embarrassed by this because she called me out in front of many students, including juniors that I had not even met yet. This is when the semester for me started going rapidly downhill. My junior year, I had been called into the, uh, Dean Morris's office only once, and it was for a misunderstanding. But my first semester as a senior, it seemed as if I was constantly being called into her office. One specific event that I recall is when I was kicked out of basketball practice by Shante because I did not want to participate in a drill that I did not understand. What really irritated me about the situation is that there was multiple students there and it seemed as if, yet again, I was being called out and embarrassed for no reason. I was called to Dean Morris' office and I was not even allowed to tell my side of the story or say really anything. She acted as if what a CEO and an SGA member had to say did not matter at all. This was a normal occurrence for me since every, almost every time I was called in, there I was just punished and not heard. I am not one to sit on the sidelines and watch injustice happen to so many students. I can, uh, can name 20 or more students that have come to me or people that I know, many crying, who have felt as if they have been wronged or treated unfairly by a member of the Res Life staff. I can name multiple times where someone on the red side staff would let one student off, but the other would be, be punished and occasionally threatened depending on the situation. 
Personally, my title as a CL was threatened many times by Res Life staff members. I felt as if my character was being attacked along with numerous other great students and student leaders by specifically a few of the Res Life staff. Not only did I get personally attacked multiple times by staff members, but when me and about 10 other students tried to start a Young Republicans Club, it was rejected by Dean Morris. This group of about 10 guys that tried to start this group along with sponsor, Ron Lupau, took our club as a dean, but it was rejected. The reason that was given that there was not enough people. Not only did we have enough, but we had more than needed to start a club. Saying all that, I do want the last part of my statement to end on a good note. There's a few staff <coughs> members and previous staff members that I do want to praise for being able to to relate to the students living and build them up, not tear them down. A few of these amazing people include Corey Pruitt, Kayla Root, Bob Gregory, Valerie Carpenter, Mary Lee, Ron Lukow, and Jason Riley. There are many other educators and staff members that helped in the lives of other students at ASMSA. These are just a few of the ones that really helped me through both my junior and senior year. I, I'm almost done. I felt like each and every one of the names that I mentioned went above and beyond to make me feel loved and make me feel that I really did belong at ASMSA. Sadly, my first semester of my senior year pushed me to the edge and I could not deal with the injustices and bullying that was taking place at MSA by staff members. I have never seen an institution be as attentive to specific student feelings and needs, but they completely disregard others. Sincerely, Christian, Christian Bubba Drive. <clears throat> wow.